Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make a custom inspirational wall plaque using stainless steel. When it comes to making custom inspirational wall plaques, CNCRI.com can make them out of literally any material, any size, any shape, any font selection, any mix of imagery that you want. Now this here is a relatively simple one. This is 316 stainless steel and it has a special industrial coating on it to prevent a lot of the fingerprints that happen when you touch stainless steel. If you have questions about fingerprints, if you have a kitchen, most likely some of the appliances there are made out of stainless steel. And as soon as you touch it with your thumb or your fingers, you have that thumbprint or the fingerprints. Now we can go very extreme with these plaques. An example of that is actually my logo here that I made out of the same material. As you can see, solid stainless steel, 1 8 inch, thick or three millimeters and as a result we're able to cut basically any kind of design that you want we're also able to etch anything that you want onto that plaque so whatever ideas you might have when it comes to custom ins inspirational wall plaques we can basically make it here in the shop however you want Quite a few of the custom metal projects that we do here in the shop actually involve customers who have industrial applications for machine tags, which is what we use this kind of metal for more, than, more often than not. Now as a result, we keep stock sizes of different sizes of 316 stainless steel and 304 stainless steel just for those applications. But we also do a lot of custom uh, memorial plaques and other kind of plaques using the same material. So basically one person's machine tag is another person's memorial is another person's inspirational wall plaque. Now when it comes to the imagery, it could be any kind of imagery that you want, but do keep in mind that what we're doing here is etching the stainless steel. And if you look at it closely, you don't see any color. It's just literally black and white. So if you have a full color image, just try to imagine that as black and white. If you have very strong contrast in the image, it comes out great. But if you have like a blurry old image, it just doesn't come out very good. We can do some uh, photo editing here to make something come out a little bit more. But what really comes out amazing when it comes to fiber etching or fiber annealing on stainless steel is if you have a native black and white image because then there's no grayscale. It's either uh, being etched or not being etched. And that's what provides the best contrast of everything.
common question I get, regardless of the project or the material we're working on, are what fonts do you have available for our project? The font selection is limitless. Uh, generally what I do is I send customers to a website that offers free fonts and I let them pick any font they want and then from there we do the digital mock-up and we produce the project from there on after it's been approved. Now something you want to keep in mind is this font here looks great for this plaque and as you can see everything comes out really nice it's like a script text. Now we can't use that script text for my logo around here and if you're wondering why it's because one we're cutting through it and that means that the inside parts of let's say the R would fall out. So that's something design wise you want to keep in mind. So it doesn't matter if we're making out of wood, corian, a stone, you know, what have you. Those inside parts will always fall out. So what you want to do is have a stencil font for parts that we cut through and you can have basically any other, other kind of font for all the other details. Now when it comes to durability, there's nothing really that beats this. The only thing that's better than etching stainless steel is actually cutting through it. If you want something that's going to last pretty much forever, cutting through it will work. Now for the etching here, you notice that it's relatively flat just because of the industrial coating on it. But it's actually etched into the plaque and then a tempering process happens with carbon to actually produce the dark that you see. So there's absolutely no ink involved. So that means there's nothing that's going to peel, crack, or fade over time. The only thing there is stainless steel, and that's all there will ever be on there. The reason for the industrial coating is just to give it a little bit more contrast. But whether it's on there or not, it's still the same durability, uh, regardless of what we put onto the plaque. So if you're lo looking for a custom inspirational wall plaque, any material, any size, any shape, contact me at cncri.com, and we'll make it for you.